Hello and welcome to Megawatt, where each week we give you the lowdown on the latest piece of kit from the world of technology and gadgets. This week we've come to a TV film studio where we're going to test out something that promises to give you all of this gadgetry in your home for £100. It's called the Creation Station and here it is. You've seen the clips. Viral video is where it's happening. Now you can make your own with awesome special effects. Creation Station shoots full res video. Comes with a huge green screen and a tripod. This is how I roll. Watch this. I go from green to in the scene. Grab clips or pics from the net or from the CD. Drop in some sound effects and music. Create and share. Uploading just a click away. Rip Roar Creation Station. The whole world is watching. Sounds amazing, doesn't it? Well, let's just see what we get in the box first. Well, what you do get is you get the webcam camera itself. Now, this is just basically a webcam. It has to work by being plugged in via USB here. On the top, you get a nice, big, shiny, bright light. And you also get this, this tripod, but uh, it's uh, pretty wobbly. You get two big pieces of green cloth that allow you to have your green screen background, and they're all stuck together by Velcro. And then finally, to make it all work, you get a piece of software that's on your PC, which you have to download via the internet, even though you get the disc in the box. The software itself, well, let's just say it's not the easiest thing to use. We've been sitting here, we you know, like to think that we like about like and know about video as we you know, produce a TV show every week, but it did take three of us, the cameraman, director and myself, a good hour and a half to work out what the hell we were doing. The software itself is very confusing. Uh, there's things where you have to like save the file after you've done it, then upload it into a different clip and then download it from there and cut it together. And it's certainly not as easy as using something like iMovie, for example, from Apple or any of the Pinnacle or sort of Roxio suites. So we're going to make a quick movie because I think that's the best way of doing it. I'm going to quickly set up here and turn off this bright light because having looking at that is just making my eyes glow. Uh, right. We love the Slingbox Pro. Why do we love the Slingbox Pro? Because it allows you to watch your television anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. Puzzled? I thought you might be. You've got a hotel room. You've got a foreign country. You've got hundreds of channels. You have no idea what they're saying. It's confusing. Well, let's just watch Grey's Anatomy on my own TV when I'm around the other side of the world. It sounds like a fantastic idea, and that's because it is. You can do it on your laptop, you can do it on your mobile phone, you can do it on your computer. It's just brilliant, and that's why we love the Slingbox Pro. Right, are we recording? Yes, we're recording. It's very hard to tell. There's no real sort of active timer that tells me what's going on. Anyway, so hello, welcome to Megawatt. Each week, we give you the lowdown on the latest piece of kit from the world of technology and gadgets. This is the Creation Station, and it's Right, so we've recorded that. So they have to go to the Get Files page. Luckily, they include some fun stuff on the CD that's in the box. So we're going to choose an MPEG movie to be playing in the background. Various ones here from Techno to Street Blur to Vortex. I think we'll just go for Traffic. That seems like the safe option. Then all I have to do is drag the film for me saying, hello, welcome to Megawatt, onto the same folder here. I can then put that there. And then if I then press this button, it will start rendering again. So whilst the movie's rendering, here's some tips from Sky's makeup team on how to look good when you're making your own home movies. High definition promises sharper, vivid, better images all around, basically. And so we're here with makeup artist from Sky HD, Sarah Edwards, to show us how makeup for high definition is considerably different from standard definition. Now, I'm all for throwing myself in a pool of water, for driving an electric car around London, but I just didn't think that the makeup would work on me. I'm, I'm sorry, it just it, it doesn't. So we've enlisted the help of uh, Louise, our, our model for today, who's going to show us with Sarah how every facet of HD production is considerably more advanced. Sarah, so what have we got? OK, so we're just going to firstly come into Louise's face and um, just conceal small imperfections. We just cover that through with a bit of concealer. OK, and then the fun part starts. So, this is an airbrush, and into the airbrush we've already mixed up um, a foundation that's suitable for Louise's skin. Previously with brushes and sponges you might have got slight brush marks or sponge marks on the face. With HDTV, things like that would show up, but the, the airbrush is a beautiful tool in order to 
facilitate um, a nice soft focus look, which is something that's needed when the camera is so glaring. Okay, so we're just going to go underneath the eyes now with a little concealer. A nice fluffy brush, because it needs to be well blended, so just look right up for me. If you've got sort of like a scar or something, do you take the note that with guys they sort of want to sort of show it up to give them that yeah, sort of rugged there, look? Yeah, there, there is that as well. I mean, you always ask um, with things like that whether they want it to be concealed or whether they don't. I mean, if it's a pretty hefty scar, sometimes it takes a lot of work to conceal it and then you can, with HD, you'd be able to see the fact that you've gone in to try and conceal it, so you're often better just, you know, leaving it as is. But I think definitely with the airbrushing, the guys at Sky have really liked it because it's a much more kind of gadget, masculine type way of applying makeup. So for them it's like, oh cool. Whereas before it was, hmm. After the um, airbrush has been applied, you have to be very careful and delicate with whatever you do over the top because it will show up under HD. And so what does this do? This takes away the... It basically takes away the shine. Right. So you've applied the foundation through the airbrush to reduce any redness and even out the skin tone because under HD, um, red will register much heavily um, on the camera. So any redness in the skin will therefore show up more. So that's why you go in with the foundation. But with the foundation, you get this kind of glow across the face. So you need to then reduce that glow with powder. Now, with digital cameras getting considerably better as well, would you use this technique for a photo shoot? Yeah, definitely. And I think um, a lot of makeup artists are indeed using, and especially the airbrush, um, on photo shoots as well. I think there will come a time um, very shortly that if you don't do airbrushing as a makeup artist, then you just won't get booked for jobs. Makeup is obviously very, there's lots, when you go into the local chemist, there's loads of different Scary. colors and brights yeah. and you think, oh my God, there's still gonna color on that. The sweet shop. <laughs> exactly, do you, do you think with HD and the move towards high definition stuff, that those colors are gonna all tone down? Mm, so there'll be sort so. of more soft pastel colors yeah. rather than these sort of bright titillating pinks. And I think it's very much um, about a soft focus palette, so it'll be more specified, definitely. But I mean, all those other colors will still be there to cater for other things, but for HD specific, the range will be much more specific. With all this attention to detail now on the face, and obviously your job to cover it up as best as possible with it, is there any, any adverse effects on the industry that it's going to have? I think it's bound to have an, um, an impact on the industry in terms of which models, actresses, presenters they're going to hire, because wrinkles, eye bags, things like that you can't really conceal with makeup, however HD defined it is. Um, so unless they are looking to the extremes of getting surgery to fix and repair aging skins, the signs of aging, then you know big company bosses may look to employ younger and younger people. Um, so the longevity and the shelf life for a presenter may be, may be much more limited. Ta-da! Well, there's a guy to uh, looking beautiful when you get called up for that next audition for HD. Thanks very much to Sky HD makeup artist Sarah Edwards and our lovely, you know, even more beautiful model Louise.